Welcome to the start of a brand new tutorial series. In this series, we'll be creating a quiz game in Scratch. And this is how the game is going to work. Once you click on the flag, we'll be presented with the question. And if we answer incorrectly, we're going to lose one heart. But we can go on and answer correctly, and answer correctly, but then if we answer wrong and wrong, then the game will alert us that we lost. But we can go on a, on a 100 IQ streak and answer all of them correctly. And once we answer all of them correctly, it will alert us that we won the game. And in this video, we'll be adding UI to the game. So let's begin. To get started, we're going to be in a brand new project and we're going to remove our scratch sprite. And we're going to go to our backdrop and we're going to make sure that we're in vector mode and then we're going to start painting it. So we're first going to select this box and decrease saturation to zero and decrease brightness to about 24. Now we can select this whole, this whole block and now we have our background and we're going to disable the outline. Now we're going to choose a little brighter gray and make this our question, um, our question area where the question will be asked and we'll make this as central as possible and that's all we need. We also need some space on the top for the hearts as well. And there we go. Now we have our background set up. We now want to add the buttons for the questions. So let's paint the very first sprite. And all we're going to use is first increase saturation. Use a little dark red around here. And right about here. We're going to center it at the end, but first let's resize it. Here and right about here. Okay, now let's change its position to negative 111 and make the Y negative 44. And then we're going to add a text and make this text white. So decrease saturation and brightness to 100. And we're going to say A. And then add a full stop. And then bring this a bit more to the, to the middle and make it bigger. So this is something we're going to be able to edit later. We're going to be able to type in this text a bit later when we're adding their answers for the question. Now that we have this done, we're going to rename this to button A. And then we're going to rename this first one to answer one. Or act, yeah, yeah, answer one. And now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this and make this 111 and make the Y negative 44 and rename this to button B and if we create button C its X is going to be negative 111 and its Y is going to be negative 125 we can duplicate this and make this button D and make its x 111 and make its y negative 125. And now we have all of our buttons. All we need to do is go to button B and make this B. Go to button C, make this choice C. Go to button D and make this choice D. Now we're going to go to our backdrop and because we had it in vector mode, we can just click this and select it and we're going to make it a bit wider on this side and a bit wider on this side as well okay and now we're going to paint another sprite and this one is going to be called question 
and its x is going to be zero and we're going to go into the text and make the brightness zero or actually 250 so that it's white not 250 but 100 and then our first question is going to be what is 17 plus 4 with a question mark and grow this and and then we're going to move it to the center and make its x a bit to the left negative 10 so that it's center of this question and then we're going to make the y 1 or actually let's try 90 and that's perfect so now that we have our first question in the game we're going to add a variable as well and we're going to call this variable score and we're going to delete this default variable and move the score to right about here now we're going to upload the final ui which is going to be this heart image and the link for this is in the description and we're going to go to the costume and select this and make it smaller so it should be so small that it's able to fit right here in between the question area and the border of the screen so right about here is fine then we're going to move this here copy and paste and we're going to add the second heart and the third heart okay now we're going to move it a bit on the x and we're going to call this lives three and duplicate this lives to make this lives two lives one and life zero but we're just going to edit that to two one and zero and for two we're going to select this one and delete it for one we select both of the two and delete them and zero we just remove everything and there we go that's all we need for our ui thank you very much for watching please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video we'll be adding the questions in our game so stay tuned for that goodbye